Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and I'm up with KS Craft and so I'm just going to go straight in and I'm going to show you. Um, first up she sent me this wonderful rosette which if you look at the uh, web page of KS Craft on AliExpress goes with these little angel heads and it actually makes an angel's dress and the angel's wing so it's kind of like a fan uh, a pleated fan and then you put the little angel head on top which are already painted for you really really cute so i will be making that for tomorrow so that is the first thing that she sent me the next thing i've got is a i think that's an eight-sided box with the heart closures so I'm going to try and do that one for tomorrow as well so that we can get a full measurement of it but it's really sweet got all the hearts and everything cut out and I'm pretty sure looking at this that it's a nickel design next up is the heart globe which is really really sweet it's got the stands there that your heart would um, be in that can go on a card it can be independent or popped onto a memdex so it looks like i'm going to be getting out a lot of pinks and reds tomorrow and then a really really sweet memdex rocking horse that's really really cute love that flip that over You've got the little stands there. So try and do that one for tomorrow. And then this one, um, I don't know how long it took to uh, kind of like get this stuff to me. But I'm pretty sure this is a gingerbread cup with a straw. So that's really cute. And of course gingerbread isn't just for Christmas. It's for all year round. And I'm wondering... If that might not look nice, cut in a pastel cardstock. So I'm going to try for that with a load of sprinkly things and make it look more springtime. And then next up, I was sent a diamond ring. And I'm pretty sure that that word says either glamorous or gorgeous. Uh, but we'll find out. That's a really simple one to make. So that's an engagement ring. And of course, lots of people start getting engaged and married in the spring. And then we have a picture wheel, which has got a lace border on it. That tells me Nicole again. And then you've got a piece that will make it spin. And that comes with, because you're special, as a sentiment die. So that's another one that I was sent. And then we're getting into love again. Of course, Valentine's Day. And we've got those cute little gnomies. Be mine, love, but you've got balloons, so they can be for birthday as well. You've got the little hearts on the hats, and you've got the uh, plain backing piece, which if you wanted to do for any other occasion, all you've got to do is leave the top heart layers off. But who doesn't love a lovely gnome? Those are super sweet. And then I was sent coffee. Yes, we're doing coffee now, so... I've got the small coffee cup with the heart-shaped uh, spoon at the end there on the handle and then the larger version. So those are shakers and they're going to be cute to do. And then a really, really sweet coffee cup. Love that one. It's got a little lid, little straw again. That's really cute. And then we have candies and who doesn't love those? Lollipops, yes. We have lollies with a bow and got sprinkles and it's got the swirly twirly. So that can be used Christmas or for birthday because all you've got to do is change the colours. Love that. And then I have two heart-shaped borders. Now these look like they cut out and can make a shaker on a card or you can just cut the frames out and pop them on a card. Now they both look identical to me so... I'm going to need to go and have a look at the website. It might actually cut a heart-shaped um, edge onto something, onto the edge of a card. Looking at that cut piece there at the bottom. So if I hold it that way around, I'm going to have to do that one. I'm pretty sure that's a heart edge. And then we have a gaming machine. Whoops, there we go. So that's going to be really cute. 
put all your little cute critters and stamp them across there. Put little messages and stuff. And that can also be a shaker. And then we have, this looks like a coffee uh, pot to me. So that's got a handle on it. I'm pretty sure that's a coffee pot. And it's also a Memdex. It's got the Memdex cut bit. So I'm going to have to do that one. And then we have lovely sentiments, which are um, thanks a latte, coffee and cream. So these are all coffee related to go with all of the uh, coffee items that I have been sent. And then last but not least, um, a passion of mine, things like this, film slides in two sides. Look at the size of that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And not only that, you're going to be able to get your little, um, oh, what do we call them? Ooh, I can't even think of the name of them. What you stick in with your copper dial? Rivet things. Yeah, those. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to make them tomorrow and show you and see if I can't remember what they're called. But you can pop those in there, which means that once you reinforce those holes, you can get your book rings in and you can make a mini album. And they're just absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. You can put photos, you can stamp in there, you can stencil on them, you can do your mixed media. How big is that? It's four and an eighth to its cut edge here. So that is a gorgeous size. And then going across four and eight again on that one. And then if we do this one, we are at three and a quarter and three and a quarter. So definitely going to be doing those as well. So super, super gorgeous things. And I will be up tomorrow with projects and try and do the angel too so if you can't make the angel a bit more you know sort of all year round looking or something like that so that's what i'm going to try and do and there are pictures on ks crafts aliexpress page so turning her name the correct way around because it's a bit rude to have someone's name upside down and that is what i've got for you today as I said, I will be up with projects. If there's specifics in this pile that you would like to see done, then make sure you pop your comment below so that I've got plenty of time to do it. Because as you can see, there is quite, quite a large amount of stuff here. So, I thank you so much for watching. I apologise once again for my zombie gingerbread yesterday. But uh, my husband thinks it's pretty cool. So, I think that's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> let's hope I don't have any disasters with this right thank you once again and as usual all links below have an absolutely awesome day bye